I'm often working properties and people see a big patch of honeysuckle like this and it, boy, it does smell good, makes a pretty flower and say, boy, look at all that deer browse. But that's not the case. Now, all these ends right here, tender, as good as it's gonna get and not a one of them this time of year in the summer, spring, whatever, has been browse, not a one. Deer gotta be pretty hungry. We showed you a property while back where it's been browsed pretty high, but here where there's a lot of food, they're not touching it. So we got all these young tips right here, not touched, but right here and right here, and guys, this is over a quarter inch. They're eating heavy blackberry with stickers on there a quarter inch long. And they walk by hundreds, if not thousands, of young tips of the honeysuckle. Honeysuckles, of course, quote unquote, evergreen stays green in the winter, and they eat on it some in the winter. Obviously, they're not browsing this mess down. But what it is doing is shading out much more preferred native browse. So I'm gonna suggest to this landowner to terminate all this honeysuckle. You can do it with glyphosate uh, later on, not now, about July or so. You can terminate it real easy. Glyphosate is not ground active, so it's just gonna kill the stuff. You probably kill a few blackberries or set them back, whatever. And then the native species will come up. Now this has made seed for a long time, so this is probably a multi-year task to get rid of this. But again, when they're eating quarter inch or larger blackberry stems and walking by thousands of young juicy tips of honeysuckle, you know it's not a preferred browse.